Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase video. I have a real treat for you today. We've got some additional Obsidian Dragon Vanguard Infiltrators slash Incursors for the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. Now, if you're new to Siege Studios, Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 30 painters who all paint from our bronze premium gaming level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you are interested in a quote, then very simply, all you need to do is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video, where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to our website and our contact form. Once there, complete that contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options for, for you from those available and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format. Uh, once you fire that off to us we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at these awesome infiltrators in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So let's dive in, have a look at these extra obsidian dragon reinforcements in the form of 20 incursors slash infiltrators. Really cool selection of models. These are the multi-part kit versions uh, with all the little extra details and bits and bobs uh, just to go with them. So let's start putting some of these really cool models forward. Uh, ben has worked on the whole project, done a really, really lovely job picking out all the extra little details in that um, sort of chipped edge armor style, which is really cool in that lovely sort of bluish black scheme with the complementary red casings on the guns and shoulder pads. All the lenses and details all fully painted here, as you will see from model to model. Uh, little chevrons there and all the grenades. Uh, extra little details all added on them. Some transfers as well done. Uh, but all that scratch kind of armour edging that's been done across these as well, which is a really, really lovely style of painting. Uh, you've got all the green complementary lenses, uh, just complements the red really nice there, makes them stand out against the black as well, which is really, really nice. So that's just one of the sergeants. Uh, pull forward one of the humble Primaris Marines that's in the squad. Really cool. Again, as you can see, every little lens and detail all painted. Point of light source on the lenses as well. Uh, see, that's for the helmet and also across all the guns and everything. Really, really do like these models a lot. Uh, you've got all the extra little knives and everything there. All the gold work highlighted through various stages as well, which is lovely. Uh, so that's just one of the normal marines. We'll have a look at one of the chaps with one of the mines as well. And I've got some of the little individual mines to show you guys as well. They're just off camera, but I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, again, every little detail fully painted. Again, the chevrons and those grenades there. Just going to show you from model to model so you can see the consistency of all these uh, infantry. Again, all the lenses and everything done there, as you'll see. You've got the, uh, the obsidian dragon transfers that have been added onto the shoulder pads as well. Uh, so that's just another chap with a mine. We'll pull forward one of the guys that's got like the radio pack as well. Again, really, really cool uh, model. I mean, just have a look at the, uh, the, the dials and things there, as you can see, picked out with little uh, blips and lines and grid markings as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just one of the guys. I do like the little radar dish on his backpack as well. Uh, just to, uh, it was really good to be able to sort of find out where they are all the time. So we've got uh, another one of the Primaris models here, as you'll see. Again, the grenades and everything all painted. Really, really lovely attention to detail from model to model. So you've got that consistency from unit to unit. So you can mix these models up without any worry at all of uh, models not matching. Again, you can see the sergeant here about to draw his pistol as well. All the little lenses painted, a blue, blue lens as well done on the scope on the gun as well, just to make a little bit of interest there. Again, you've got all the facial details, fully painted eyes and everything, all the skin highlighted through various stages. Again, move around, you can see every little bit of detail on these awesome, awesomely detailed uh, new models. Again, just have a look at the uh, signalman. I'm going to call him the signalman because he's got all of the uh, all the radars and gizmos. Again, you can see the consistency. Again, all the screens and everything painted. Uh, do really, really love the red casings on the guns. It really makes all the weapons stand out. And visually for playing as well, allows you to obviously see which unit's got what gun pretty quickly as well, which is really lovely. So that's just him. Uh, let's pull forward another chat from the back unit. Again, just to show you models from unit to unit. Again, here, as you'll see, just lead, moving forward here, advancing in a really, really static kind of pose, which is cool. Uh, so that's just him. And then pull forward the other sergeant. I always like showing the sergeants off because I think they're really cool. Again, red face mask on him. Uh, the, I like the cowling on the little lens there on the side of his head in red as well. Just that spot colour of red just through the units just to really make bits of detail just you know, di differentiated from the armour. So they're all sort of very, very drab, if that makes sense. A really lovely, bright, vibrant red used on these as well. Uh, we'll have a look at another chap with a mine here. Let's have a look at him again in a really cool pose. Looks like he's about to throw that into him to make give someone a very bad day. Uh, again, really, really lovely consistency from model to model. Every lens, detail and dial and the button all painted. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, oh, and then we'll pull forward a few more from the squad on the other side over here, just so you can have a look at these. Again, it's probably my favourite sergeant out of the uh, out of the 20 here, as you'll see, just uh, bellowing away to go over there and uh, looking at a different target as well, which is really cool. Again, all the eyes and everything fully painted. Uh, move around again, around the back and see every little bit of detail 
really had a lot of time and investment put into it to really make every bit come to life. Uh, so that's just a sergeant from the other unit. Um, Paul Ford, the signalman, as I'll call him from this unit. Uh, again, you've got that, the, all the screens, everything done there, as you'll see, with a nice glowing sort of energy on them as well. Really, really lovely attention to detail. Again, you can see that you can mix any of these models up without fear of things not matching. Uh, there's a really, really good consistency throughout the units. And one final goal, look at the guy with the mine uh, as well. Again, really, really cool pose here. About to throw that mine and give someone a very bad day. I love the targeters on the backpacks. I think they're really cool. And then what we will do is I'll pull forward some of the mines that we've got over here just to the side, just so you can see them. Uh, ben has done these as well, just to match him with the units, get that to focus so you guys. You see the mine there with that lovely energy coil in the middle as well, all painted as well, which is really, really lovely, all little buttons and things all done there as well. And there are four of them, obviously one per five man unit here, uh, but really, really cool. Just another one here, so you can see consistency from mine to mine, but all the little buttons and things all done there as well. The coils are glowing as well, which is lovely. So that's it guys, do hope you like them. Stick around, we're back in a second, just to find out a bit more about how you can take out a commission with us here at Siege and see these guys in all their glory once again. Uh, see you guys back in a sec. So thanks for checking the video out guys, really appreciate it ever so much. I do hope that you've liked all of these additional obsidian dragons for the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. The new Incursor slash Infiltrator models are really awesome and uh, there's a lot of great little extra little parts and details across all of them. I know Ben had a really good time working on them. Now if you're interested in a commission with us here at Siege, very simply what we need to do is head to our website through the link in the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to the, our website and our contact form. Once there, complete it by selecting the relevant drop down options that are relevant for you and your project and in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. Once you fire that off to us, we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. While you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favor and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it allows you to keep up to date with all the different videos that we do put up. And uh, you obviously let us know in the comments what you think about these incursors uh, and infiltrators. Finally, while you're in the description of the video, what I'd really appreciate is if you can go and follow it and subscribe and uh, like us respectively on Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. We do loads of updates on all those platforms as well. And uh, you can keep up to date with everything that Siege does as a business. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.